So for today, we're going to be looking at the Warlocks more specifically. We're going to be looking at the Year 3 armor set from Iron Banner, which is the Iron Lord set. So if you guys haven't seen, we have already reviewed the armor. It's right here and the Shader video, which is right here as well. We also already have the Titan and the Hunter videos, which are both right here as well. So if this is your first video, we essentially are going to do what we do in the Hunter and Titan videos, which is take individual pieces from this armor set and then make individual armor sets from those pieces so four in total so let me know what you guys think i do think this is super dope because not only does it like stretch my creative muscle so to speak but i also really want to get more looks for my classes which is ultimately the reason i do this because i want to have as much variety for the exotics that i can get so let me know what you guys think remember to like comment sub hit the bell notification if you want to keep up with my current content because i do think my content is worth it other than that let's get into it so to start off we're going to be using the helmet and i do think this one is pretty cool for the shader we're going to be using iron to steel for everything except gambit jade stone for the chest piece because unfortunately iron to steel on the iron companion vestments looks really terrible for the arms, Katorier gloves because the arms have a lot of chainmail and the Katorier gloves has that chainmail. So thankfully it combines pretty well together. For the chest piece, again, Iron Companion vestments where we're using. For the boots, we're gonna be using the Homespun boots ornament for the boots of the assembler. I honestly, you could really put whatever you want in this considering the Iron Companion vestments covers damn near everything. And then for the bond, we're also going to be using the Iron Lord named or the named Iron Lord set. So I think this one's pretty cool. Uh, nothing too crazy to talk about this one. I don't, the only thing I can say is just be aware that the Iron Companion investment takes shaders pretty terribly sometimes. Um, other than that, yeah, I think it looks really cool. As for the next set, we're going to be using the chest piece, which is the Cole Vance Iron Ropes. For this one, we're going to be using Fell Winter's Helm, which I don't know why I used it. I mean, it's probably because the the shoulders have a pointy bit. The arms have a pointy bit, which is the Hardened Bachelor's wraps. And for me, that's enough to just be like, all right, let's just use pointy bits for this. For the boots, Iron Companion Legs. And then for the Bond, Cunning of the Contender Bond with the Chit and Slate Shader combo. So that way I have no glow, but I still have like an Iron Band, which I think is really cool. For the shading for everything else, it's going to be Crucible Al 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 Alizarin. I like the shader quite a bit. I don't use it as much as I would like, but it's also because the off color for Crucible Alizarin looks fucking terrible. It looks really, really bad. So uh, did I mention Iron Companion Legs? Either way, Iron Companion Legs. Definitely like this one, but I would definitely switch the shadering for probably, probably an Iron Banner shader just because for me, Iron Banner shaders and Felwinter's Helm just kind of go together. That makes... That I in my head it makes sense, but it also just makes sense in general considering he was an Iron Lord. So I don't know, probably just thinking too much into it. As for the next set, we're gonna be using the Fallen Sun Star with the Scory's Iron Gloves, which is the Named Lord's arm. For the chest piece, Dendrite Shimmer Robes. For the boots, Mobile Exoskeleton Boots, and then for the arm, and then for the Bond Psy Psychoceratops Bond. So I think this is cool because it's just pointy bits everywhere. But I also like the regalness of the arm just kind of gives it that flair of like I'm royalty, but I'm also like spiky as fuck. So for the shader, full thread, full throated roar. Again, I will be making a video for this because that's what I usually do for the shadering. But I do think this looks really, really cool. So much so that I probably would be using the Fallen Sunstar like this look for it because I do think it looks really cool. Let me know what you guys think about this one. And then last but not least, we're going to be using Timmer's Iron Boots for this one because I'm going for like a decrepit look. And I do think the Timmer's Iron Boots looks really good with it, especially the plate armor on the feet. Like it just looks so good because that looks kind of like just fucked up and like it's seen better days almost. So for the helmet, Hex Rot Hood is what we're using just because I do think it looks amazing with the Scorn Baron robes. I also think it looks amazing with the Necrotic Grips and then for the bond corrupting echo bond so for those of you who have been following my content for a while you guys will know that i love to combine the necrotic grips with the corrupting echo bond because these two colors are not only super duper close to the point where i think they're actually the same color but it just has a great combo to it so this one i also combine it with lucid the shader because it gives that green as well so 
I really like this one. I would probably say this one is I want I re, my in my soul. I want to say this one's the dub of the group. That being said, I think the first one is pretty cool as well. This one, I'm going to be real with you guys. Warlocks, I I don't know if I did my best with this one because I'm looking at these sets and I'm like, you know, I'm not like wowed aside from the last one. I think the last one is super dope. But like the first one looks like a your typical Iron Lord, which I don't think that's a bad thing. I think that like wh that's what I wanted and I got that. Um, and the second one I think is a pretty cool one as well. The third one I think is amazing. I think the third one's so fucking cool. That being said, I would definitely switch out the arms for something a little bit more spiky, which I've done in the past. So it's one of those like I just switched the piece out and then made that, which is funny considering in one of the videos that I've said previous is that I like to make new things. So this one is the like, oh, this one, don't look at this one. So I do apologize for warlocks, but I I stand by these. These are really, really cool in my head. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate y'all. Be safe. I will see you guys later.